I do hope you're doing well. Oh my god, my lovelies, it is the first autumnal haul from Primark. Okay, can anyone tell how excited I am? I'm a little bit overexcited, don't I? Let me tell you why. Because, my lovelies, I struggled lifting it in the uh, try on. Try on the thumbnail clip. <laughs> It is jam-packed, okay? Now, don't shout at me. I have got just a few, just a few little summer editions, just purely last-minute bits for holiday. But we have got colours, textures, patterns, prints, long dresses, knitted dresses, short dresses, six-pound dresses. And that's why I thought... Why not crack out the old classic six pound Primark dresses for, I don't know, to mark the occasion because I am excited. Let me tell you, I was excited. We've got quite a few staples in here, little bits that I had to pick up. A little refresh of underwear. You're probably thinking because you've seen the past two months, Shannon Lee, do you need any more underwear? But just a few little bits, a few just top ups. And then, yeah, I have got one piece which... I had to try on in the store because we all know I'm very hit and miss with sizes on this particular item. And I tried it on and it fit. The first time that it has fit in that size for a long time. So I am blooming excited to get into this. It's going to be a long one, my lovely. So make sure you've got your cup of cosy drink or a nice coffee if we're still holding on to a little bit of summer. And let's get in with our new in Primark haul for September autumn edition <laughs> so you know me everything i pick up is either in a size 10 or a small which is the 10 to 12 so i will tell you as and when bits come up and there will probably be a try on clip here there depending where i put it all right so shall we just get the summary bits out of the way so as i say these were last minute bits for holiday i realized i wanted a new pajama set for holiday even though i probably have new bits um yeah, I just wanted another set to be perfectly honest. And I saw this print and I was just like, you know what? You're coming home with me. You are coming home with me. So I got a little two-piece, but they seem to have come apart. Where's the price? So this was £8 for the set. I got it in a size small and you can tell by the short straight away. Stretchy test for miles, Okay. They are just these gorgeous white shorts with oranges on. Now, we all know I went through such the orange and lemon phase with Primark when it was coming out through summer that, of course, I had to try and get some pyjamas in it. And I really liked it because it has a little scalloped edge at the bottom with orange. Absolutely love this. And they're so stretchy. They're going to be so comfy on. I cannot wait. And the top. Now, I don't know about you, but I would actually wear this top as a normal top hat. Could you look at it and think that it is a pyjama top? I don't know. Please do tell me. It's got the same scalloped little edges with the orange trim. And again, I just thought this was perfect. I thought this was blooming perfect. You probably could potentially get away with this for an autumnal piece because it's got oranges on it. I know oranges are summer, but the colour itself is uh, very autumnal, wouldn't you say? So yes, that was like my first little spring summer bit that I had to get out of the way. And then another one. Um, <laughs> you're really going to shout at me in this haul. Did I need another bra? Probably not. Did I see it in the sow and think just chuck it in? Yes. So I picked this up. Normally in my bras I get a 34C. So if you've not seen any of my previous underwear hauls, I am measured at a 34 double D, but I wear a 34D because... I feel a bit too enclosed in a double D, but with Primark, I normally get a C or potentially a B because I find that oversized and also the tops fold out. So I do tend to size down in Primark, but I got this one in my true size, a 34D. How gorgeous is this? Like this is totally something you would see in Bouge Avenue. Obviously, there will be no trial clips for the underwear, my lovelies. We all know that. So, it was the Pong, the collection, non-padded. It was £7 down to 4 But you know what? They didn't have any matching underwear for it. So, I don't quite know why, but I just thought that was blooming gorgeous. You've got all the lace. The back is just a clear mesh with little polka dots on the back. I didn't realise that. How cute. And, yeah, for £4, I just saw it and was like, um, I need you in my life. Probably... Mum didn't have the same view because we have had a quite a bit of underwear, haven't we, these past couple of months. But Primark Essentials, you know. I think that is pretty much it for the basics. Oh, no. 
I got a white bodysuit. White bodysuit for 350. There's no need to show you this on. It is literally just a standard bodysuit. I got this purely because I'm thinking on holidays. Some of my outfits, um, if they are a crochet, what to wear underneath it. So I thought bodysuit will go with that because I'm not normally a bodysuit person. You know, I'm I don't like all of that. I can't be dealing with fannying around trying to open buttons when I need to go wee wee. So I just stick to normal tops of that. But yeah, bodysuit. We're, we're all here for, for holiday. Now, this is where it gets good. I saw this in the Hammersmith store. And, you know, when you look at something and I thought, oh, I'll wait to see if I can get it in my local. And I had this gut-wrenching feeling as I was walking away, you're not going to be able to get it. And you know what? When I went to my local store to get the rest of this, they didn't have it. So if you remember, I think it was last winter, I picked this up in almost like a khaki emerald green. And I wanted the camel colour. And when I went back, they was totally gone. So I got this as a size small and it was £10. Some things have increased in price through Primark, I've noticed. But this, I remember paying the tenner last year. My lovelies, who remembers these Chanel hoodies? If this is just not the coziest... Oh, there we go. Coziest hoodie ever. Please tell me different. Um, as I say, it was like a khaki emerald green. If you're an OG, you're remembering. As I say, I was absolutely gutted. I, if I remember correctly as well, last year they had it in a red and a blue. But it was the camel that I wanted. Because obviously I'm trying to get more browns and neutral tones in my wardrobe for this autumn winter. As we all know, I'm very bright with uh, my colours through autumn and winter, but I am trying to get a few more neutral tones. So I saw this and I thought, you know what? Jeans and a nice top, and if it's a bit chilly, chuck this on. You have got your neutral tone, Shannon, down to a T. And for a tenner, you can't go wrong. You actually cannot go wrong. Now, you are going to see this and if you've seen it in Primark, you may already have looked at it and thought that is Shannon Lee to a T. I saw this. Um, Primark has still got some £6 dresses. I only picked up one because I wasn't really a fan of their styles this year. As we all know, this was last year. I've got a brown like Twiggy style one. The stylings are normally really good. But this year, I've picked up one style and even that I'm questioning. So we'll see when they come along. Size 10. This was £13. But... First off, look at the print, okay? It's tartan. Absolutely fabulous. So, it is a tartan hands tooth open dress. It comes down. It's not got elasticated sleeves. They're like shirt collar sleeves. And then as it comes down, in the middle, you've got your gather. And as it comes down, it's like a skater dress. Oh my God. This is a bit of me, okay? The middle bit, super stretchy this is what we like to see and as i say with the little uh v-neck at the top it can be a little bit risque if you want to get the girls out or you could wear a roll neck like a little roll neck vest under it a little crop top anything like that but this i love because it kind of gave me texas vibes it's like that cheese clothy material it's ever so soft and as i say really really nice i have high hopes for this I'm thinking this could be paired like day-to-day -day casual with DMs or anything like that. But I'm thinking chuck this on in the evening with some heels. You are good to go for like a little autumnal night. Oh my god. I am so excited. As you can tell, I'm fully, I'm fully in the zone now. The room is getting decorated, as you can see behind me, bit by bit. And um, there's still quite a lot to get at. There's still a few trips I need to make to some shops to see some Halloween bits. So you'll probably see Halloween bits creeping in and amongst the backgrounds as we go along but yes absolutely love that and that is kind of like the staple that I want to go for this autumn and winter stuff that is very flowy baggy like comfort comfort is key I don't want to be having nothing that's tight nothing that's tight there's something in here that's quite fitted but <laughs> I, I just love it when you see it you'll know that like Shan that's a bit of you girl Right, picked up some gym towels, needed some new ones, and Primark, two for a fiver. Didn't think that was too bad. You've got a baby pink and a fuchsia pink, 40 by 90 centimetres. And you know what? Let's just, can we grab them out or are they, oh my God. 
isn't it a sad world when we have to like tag and clip in towels like really so look, i just want to see for your size because it's all well and good having it on a ticker but ticker sticker but i'm not really good with stuff like that and i'm gonna have to oh yeah make sure oh my god how much how much cable ties or whatever do they want to put in this 40 by 50 oh well, that's a big one okay i mean it's soft and it's just molted everywhere on me <laughs> not what you need with black leggings on is it that's all right isn't it two for a fiver this is more of the ones that like people wear well it would be if you held it shown like people wear around their neck i'm not i'm not at that level yet to wear a towel around my neck i just hold my towel in my hand but yeah very happy with them where is the other one dropped off to oh there it is on the floor so i've got two new gym towels fan dabby dozy and even this one i don't get how they have to be actually i'll keep that one nice and rolled because it can go away easier i mean this one i've just made a right pig's ear of ain't i <laughs> that'll just get a uh, chucked in my little towel drawer for gym there we go it's almost like the material of like a really big duster really big duster right hi my name is shannon i have an underwear addiction my lovelies i've got another one pound thong so you know the multi-packs have gone up the one pound thongs are staying one pound i got a green how cute is this how blooming cute is that i only got one because um mama g was like no i was like okay so i just got one i think when she saw me like with that bra it was kind of like you don't need any more i was like okay but there are two more like, bits of underwear in here so don't shout at me they are essentials though okay they are essentials that we need in our life now i'll tell you what i needed in my life primark basic turtlenecks roll necks v-necks everything in the ribbed material life absolute life so i saw this style this was eight pound and this is a ribbed roll neck but I have a lot of roll necks, my lovelies, and my greens tend to be like emerald. I don't have a green like this, which I think is blue and gorgeous, let me tell you. This with like some black faux leather trousers or a skirt. Yes, absolutely love that. Eight pounds. Now, I think these used to be about six or seven last year. However, the normal ones that used to be six are eight pound now. So I think if the price is increasing on the regular like thin ribbed one, you might as well, if you're paying the same price, go for a slightly thicker ribbed one. Might just be better quality. However, if you get it in the cream, please be careful. The cream is the only one that is still see-through. I have not yet found a good cream turtleneck, roll neck, ribbed jumper that isn't see-through so if anyone does have any recommendations for me please do let me know down below because as i say i think a crisp white turtleneck roll neck like v-neck anything that's like a rib jumper style is a staple for autumn and winter and i just haven't found one yet that isn't see-through unfortunately so that's a bit of a shame right this is the six pound dress my lovelies now you can tell me what you think i haven't got high hopes of this this as i say six pound Bearing in mind, this is a £6 one. So this is the style. I've got itchy nose now after that towel. I feel like I've got all fluff around my face. Isn't that great? But I'm not really a fan of this print. Now, we all know I like a bit of print, but I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. You see, that, like, there's almost bluey purple specks throughout. Like, that is the style. It's not that it's faulty or anything. But, yeah, I just don't know how I feel about this. So, it goes down, down, and goes out into a skater dress. As we all know, you'll see in the trial clip. But, I picked this up to show you that the £6 dresses are still £6. However, I think I'm going to try and have to find some better styles. Because I just don't think that's a bit of me. Maybe if it was plain, but with the blue in, I feel like... I don't know, I just... I, not vibing with that like these prints and like the twiggy 60 star ones oh my god yes fabulous that one not so much not so much i'm afraid so yes i do apologize for that i don't need to be a negative nelly because we all know i do love me primark six pound dresses but i'm gonna be honest with you that design wasn't cutting it for me i tell you what was cutting it for me i got another shirt so if you remember last year, I got quite a few of the checkered farmer style shirts that were like half one colour and half another. And this year, they've brought out more. 
but the sleeves are slightly different on these these are more rolled up sleeves because I've just gone to pull it down and realized that you can't so that's not a problem I got it in a size 10 and this was seven pound I haven't got a red one and I think red is a classic one for autumn and winter I don't think they're too bad for seven they had a black one they had like a petrol blue one but I thought would go with red because yeah I haven't got red and these if you need anything in your autumn collection, an oversized shirt, whether it be checkered or hands tooth or anything like that, I think a shirt just to chuck on is the biggest part that you could put in your wardrobe this year. It's for those perfect days when it's warm, but it's not cold enough to have a jacket, but it's not warm enough to go out like with your bare arms. Chuck a shirt on and you are good to go. That is what I've been living in at work. I've got my blue one, there's a green one, and I've got a pink one. They are, I go into work and they're like, You literally live in shirts. I'm like, They're shackets in a way, but they're not as thick as a normal shacket, you know? Honestly, you're probably thinking, Shan, it's a blooming shirt, but they are my staples. If I say anything to go and get this winter, get yourself winter. We're skipping the seasons here, Shan. Anything to get for autumn slash winter, because you could wear them for both, would be a nice oversized like tartany shirt. Love it. So one of my first basic bits, if you have watched the underwear hauls, I was saying I wanted a shiny black and white bra, just on the off chance that I wore like my slinky vest tops, but also I wanted something that could potentially be strapless. So I saw this, this was, how much were you? Eight pound, and it is the multi-weight maximise. So it gives the girls a little bit of a boost, you know. I got this in a 34C. So as you can tell by the style of it, so this is it with the straps on, of which I will keep the straps. But more importantly, you can make it a strapless. So I thought, you know what? Because in, uh, I was going to say La Senza, La Senza's been gone years, Shan. In Boo Avenue, their staple ones, I think, were about £28. I did get in Boo the staple black and white lace ones, which I don't mind paying the money that they were. But for just a plain shiny one that i'm not going to wear often it is literally just going to be for if i wear my slinky tops and on the off occasion that i need a strapless bra eight pound is good to go it actually shows you it's a lot more than just strapless one strap halter neck cross back oh cast a foot loose here awake my love liz isn't that great on a sunday afternoon as i'm filming this just smile and wave shan smile and wave so yes i loved it so much that I also picked it up in the black, okay? The exact same. I was also on the hunt for nude because if you know me as well, for my basics, I like to have black, white and nude of everything. But realistically, I don't have a lot of nude in my wardrobe. So if anything, the closest thing that I would need is a white one. So I got a new white and black multi-way bra, multi-way, multi-purpose, you know? And as I say, saved myself a fortune compared to what I would have paid in Boo Avenue. Oh, you know what? Just putting my hand in this bag and feeling all these textures. Oh, I just love it. Now, this is very bright, okay? Even for me. Do I think it's going to fit? No, because I didn't realise till I was putting it up that it is a zip back. So I picked a little skirt up in a size 10. This was £11. But, look! I just thought this was blooming gorgeous okay i love kind of like the little pleats at the front and as i say it is a nice thick hands tooth material but i didn't realize it is a zip back so we're gonna have to see because that could that go with the green jumper no it's a total different shade of green so we couldn't have that because it'd clash but i just thought that would be really nice with like tights in autumn winter a nice fedora anything like that but yeah I don't think, I didn't realise it was a zip, I didn't look, my own mistake, I don't think, looking at that, that is going to go around me anymore, but we shall see, you'll either get a lovely try on clip, or you'll get me where I insert the text of like, wah, 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 it didn't fit, and you'll just be like, told you, you should have sized up Shan, what have we got in here, oh, I got another dress, but this is slightly different, and again, you know when you look at something on the little mannequin and I thought I like that I could do with that and then again I'm putting the stuff up on the checkout and I'm like oh it's got the underskirt and now if you're a regular with my Primark hauls anything with an underskirt 
I don't tend to do very well on, do I? I'm a bit hit and miss with that. So let's have a look because it seems to have all gone upside down. It looked lovely on the mannequin. I'm not going to lie, though. So this was £13, if I remember correctly. I'm getting in a two and eight just trying to figure out where the price tag is. Yes, £13. So it is an exposed seam dress. So the seam is on the outside. It's long sleeve. Absolutely love this whole mesh vibe. We all know that. And then you've got your slip underneath, which even me just holding, we know is going to be a disaster, don't we? Because I just can't get into these things. And then it goes down, down, down. It is a very, very, very long dress. And you've just got a lovely little scalloped edge at the bottom. Do I think I'm going to be able to get this on? No. Looking at it now with the slip, I don't know what it is. You're probably thinking, Shan, it's literally just like putting your head in a dress. But there's something with slips I just can't get on with. I don't know why. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I had really high hopes for this. It's £13, size small. Did it get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Did your girl even get it on? Or have I unfortunately just put the wah, wah, wah text at the bottom? Who knows? Who knows, okay? All right, let's get the last little bit of underwear out of the way because you're all going to shout at me. I picked this up in a 34C, as I say, because I do normally go down to a C and I love these little sets. These are gorgeous, my lovelies. They had this in a deep emerald green, but they didn't have me size. So I'm hoping they're going to have it next month because it just comes with a little cheeky thong and these are £8 absolutely love these now i think these used to be six or seven i'm not gonna lie i think looking back at my old little lace ones but these are the structured ones so these are like a proper wire boning and you get a thong with it so you can't really grumble for eight quid but yes absolutely love that when i saw the green i was like hallelujah but they didn't have me size so Maybe that's something I can pick up for October because it's going to look very, very snazzy with a lovely little tan. Well, I hope I get a tan, eh? Right, my lovelies, I am going to quickly have a little drink because I feel like I've been rabbiting on for way too long. And the next part of this bag, there is patterns, textures, everything galore. <laughs> right, are you feeling refreshed? I'm feeling very excited. So excited for this next piece. Just you wait. So, so excited. I've got itchy nose. That's a surprise, isn't it? I picked up a two-piece. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, every autumn and winter, I do like to get a new, like, little knitted cord. So I think I have a brown diamond check and I have a black hands tooth one. But I've never had any with, like, a waistcoat. And this is where people might think, absolutely not, Shan. But I kind of dig it. So it comes with a skirt. We'll start with a skirt first. Both parts I got in a size small and they were both £10 each. So it's £20 for a cobbled. Which I don't think is too bad for a cobbled. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You're probably thinking that's very bright. They did have it in orange and pink. Which was very, very bright. But I thought this is kind of more preppy. I could kind of get away with this, you know. So it's just this diamond check white black and blue checks with the yellow little trim going along it and the way it sits it's almost going to come out like a mini skater skirt now i'm not going to lie with the coals the skirts are very short especially because i like to wear mine quite high waisted if you wear it on the hips you'll probably be all right but yeah wearing it high waisted you're gonna need cycling shorts or some very thick tights to cover your modesty all right and then the top i just oh Mum saw him was like, Shan. I was like, it's the cutest waistcoat ever. She did tell me the proper name for it. A waistcoat? I don't know if that's the thing. If you know what it is when I show you, let me know. Mum did say another name apart from a waistcoat. But I know what you're going to say. It's very granddaddified, but I don't care. When I was picking this up, there was a lot of youngsters in the store. And they were just looking at me like... I don't care. I'm going to rock this. Would I rock this on its own with the skirt? Or would I potentially... This is why I need a cream roll neck jumper. Cream roll neck long sleeve jumper would look so adorable under this. And you could wear it with jeans. Oh my god, yes. So I do hope in the try on clip, 
but it actually looks really nice because as I say they had like an orange and pink version which was very bright for me but if I do like that and it looks nice I could potentially be swayed to pick up the pink one this is how you know I'm trying to get like more adult -y. I'm not going necessarily always for the pink stuff I'm trying to be like sophisticated with the blues and green shall we say that's what you're trying to tell yourself, ain't you, Shan? Yeah. Sand down there. Are you all right there, girl? You seem to be a little bit delirious. I haven't had any drinking, I promise. It's a night before work. Now, I saw this and oh my God, it gives me such like, is it cricket or rugby vibes? I picked it up again in a size small. This was £10. You'll find a lot more of that. I would say like higher quality jumpers are around the 10 or 12 pound mark now but look it's a little cropped boxy jumper cream and emerald green stripes long sleeves which is perfect and as i say it's a nice little cropped length if you saw the video where me and mama g wore the same outfit size 10 versus size 20 you will notice a lot of the jumpers now are cropped. Like, mum noticed it a lot on her. And she was like, no, I like long line stuff. Whereas me, on the other hand, I love a good crop jumper. This with just simple black leggings or jeans. You are good to go. And is it cricket or rugby vibes? Please tell me because I say, not too sure which one. I just saw it and I got sports vibes. They had it also with black and white stripe or white and blue. But kind of been gravitating towards green. Well, actually, I got that in the blue. So I didn't want a lot more green. Even though I've got an electric neon green skirt and a very questionable green jumper. I think green and blues are going to be the colours for this autumn. Greens, blues, potentially some rusts maybe. Who knows? Who knows? We shall have to see. Right, this was a little bit of a gimmick, okay? I saw this on the way to the checkout and I was like, I just need it. It was one pound and it is a travel dangle, but it is baby Yoda. Okay, it's got a little hook on there. It's got a key ring and I thought, you know what? I just, am I going to take this on holiday? I don't know, but I saw it for a pound and I was like, you're coming home with me. Just, oh my love, is everything has just fallen underneath my bed. Good job my Tootsie weren't there because that would have been really, really sore. You know what it is? It's because all my receipts are overflowing. I kind of need to get that fixed. One second. Right, I'm back. And I've also just put the remaining bits of the haul on the chair with me because otherwise I'd keep bending down and up. You don't need to be seeing my uh, roots that terribly need redoing again. So there is one more little uh, spring bit, I would say. You know my infamous three-pound little tops? Ribbed. I picked this up. This is a lemon. I don't even know if it's going to quite show up on camera, but it is a lemon. My lovelies, if you see these, they're normally in with the pajama sections. You know where it's like the mix and match tops. So potentially they are a pajama top, but I wear them as a crop top. They are three pound. I have pretty much got every single colour that they do. I'm really hoping that for the autumn and winter months, they're going to bring them out in like red, green, blue, dark grey, maybe a light mocha. Have I got a chocolate? can't remember if I've got chocolate or not. I know I've got like bright colours, like black, white, grey, pink. Got a couple of pinks, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, see how that goes. Um, I really do hope they do bring out more colours because they are essentials. Absolute essentials. You can wear them as pyjama tops. I wear them underneath like when I have a shirt chucked on. Perfect. Now, again, with Primark's basics, as I say, they're starting to do a few different styles. So the ones that I normally used to get were six or seven pound and they would just be the ribbed either round neck or a turtle neck. I saw this one and I was like, oh, so this was eight pound. Now you can tell that it's a price change because they've took off the price at the bottom and put the sticker on. So I reckon these used to be about six pound. They're not a thick ribbed, they're just like a nice thin jumper, but I got it in this brown because I say trying to get a bit more colour within terms of like a brownness in my wardrobe. So I thought we'll give it a go. Nowhere near as thick as the green ribbed one. Like that is a lot thicker if you're paying the same price of money. But I thought I'd just try this because quite like a little v-neck. And as I say, maybe show the girls a little bit but still stay classy. This you could have with like if you've got a pinafore dress. Put a nice pinafore dress over this and have it underneath. That could be a really cool look. Or just chuck it on with some jeans or leggings. 
We are moving out of the seasons of cycling shorts, so bring back the leggings and my uh, jeans that I don't tend to wear often, but when I do, they are my go-tos. Now, these didn't catch my eye, but they caught Mama G's eye. She was like, oh, Shane, please try them. I was like, okay. I don't think they're going to fit. So I'm just going to say that now. don't think they're going to fit. These were £12. They also had them in black, but I think I have black shorts like this. So I got them in a brown. Of course, because we are trying to go with a brand theme, that is why Mama G saw them and was like, please pick them up. They've got a little tortoiseshell button in there, which is blooming gorgeous. And they seem to be quite a nice length. I don't think that they're going to show the bum too much. However, let's see, because I don't know if they're going to have stretch. So it's a zip and button. Oh. You know, when like, you hold something, you're like, will I fit in that? I don't know. We might have a uh, very lovely try-on clip. That could actually go nice with that brown jumper. If it is, I will pair them together. If not, you're just going to get the sad text. The wah, wah, wah didn't fit. Because as I say, are they stretchy? Not really. We all know me. I love a good bit of stretch, don't we? We have everything with the stretch test. If there's no stretch, there's no test. And more than likely, they don't fit. Oh, my Lord. Okay. If you are looking for cable knit, chenille style type jumpers, don't walk. Run to Primark, sprint to Primark because these are gonna go quick, okay? When I went down, there was not a lot left. They do these in black, neon green, baby pink like a rose. There was a cream, but they didn't have my size because I was eyeing it up, and also a very, very pale grey. I, however, went for a blue. And guys, look how gorgeous is this. So, it is a cable knit jumper. However, it is so soft. It is like the chenille softness of the hoodie that I showed you earlier. The sleeves, I love because it's got the little, little ruched cuffing bit on the end. Oh, yes. Love this. Love this. Love this. £12. I don't think it's too bad for a good quality jumper. And as I say, the neon green was very nice. I was eyeing that up. I was eyeing the cream up. They didn't have that in my size. But I thought, you know what? Because sometimes when spring comes, spring can still be a bit chilly. This, I think, would be a great little transition piece into spring as well. As I say, I kind of lost my train of thought there, didn't I? What was I going to say, Shan? As I was going to say, you could wear it with jeans, that with like a nice little black pencil skirt casual or dress up you're going to be comfy and warm that would actually be so cute to go like winter wonderland in that me and mama g may have potentially booked i know it's not until november and december i mean we're going pretty last minute well not last minute last minute before christmas i would say um we've picked a day and we're gonna go because otherwise i would be moping on this specific day so mum was like no we're gonna go and do something so we've booked winter wonderland for it so that will be in Vlogmas. Oh my god, Vlogmas is going to be here soon. I mean, you're kind of getting eased in with seeing my face six times a week, aren't you? <sighs> Vlogmas, you're going to be seeing it every day. By the end of 2022, I would not be surprised if I have lost half of my subscribers because they are going to be sick to death of seeing my face. And I wouldn't blame you. I get sick of seeing my face every morning sometimes, my lovelies. But yeah, please try and stick around. Because as I say, I've got a lot of stuff planned for 2023. You might think, Shan, there's still four months of this year left. But you know what? Preparation. Preparation is key. Now, again, I saw this. Loved it. But now I don't think I'm cool enough to wear it. So this was £15. Bit more pricier. We're starting to creep up. However... It was the print, okay? You're probably thinking, Shan, that is very out there. Yes, it is. So, it's buttons at the front, but on the mannequin, they had it open. Would I have it open all the way down? Potentially not, just purely because it's going to be a lot on show. But it is a shirt-style dress. So, it comes down and you have shirt collar arms. You've got your little button there. As it comes down and down, this is kind of like your middle section. There is a tie around the middle, which you can leave at the back or tie it around the front. You will see more in the try and click because I know I'm doing a dog's body holding it up. 
and then it comes down, 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 down. It is a very, very long dress. It is almost a maxi shirt dress. Now I saw it on the mannequin and I was just like, I love that. I love that. I need that. However, now I'm looking at it and I'm like, you're not cool enough to pull this off. So I hope that there was a nice try on clip. But yeah, I'm not having high hopes for myself now on this because I'm just like, Shan, what was you thinking? I see all these prints and styles and I'm like, yeah, you could totally rock that. And then I put it on and I'm like, girl, what are you thinking? But you've got to give everything a go, in you? You've got to try something. Okay, I've got something else that was brown. I so say I'm... I'm slowly trying to get some brands in the wardrobe, my lovelies. This was £10, and I don't think this is too bad. They also had it in black and grey, if I remember correctly. But it's these jumpers with, like, the shirt collars. Now, I don't know about you, but I just really like this whole shirt vibe. Kind of like a Peter Pan collar style. Makes you look, like, smarter because people think you've obviously got the shirt on underneath. And as it comes down, you've got your little shirt sleeve, collar ends, sleeves at the end you know don't quite know what they're called it's got a little button at the back but yeah very very soft again it's not like a thick rib the only bit of thick ribbon you have is at the bottom on the hem but apart from that it's quite just a very thin rib but very soft almost like a mohair -y style jumper you know that could go really nice with them shorts if they fit or again something like this with jeans or this with trousers to go to work i think would be a really nice little smart but casual outfit you know for the autumnal months 10 pound do you think that was too bad either and then oh i have really fallen in love with this like three quarter zip vibe at the moment it all started when i got a playboy dress and a couple of dresses from miss guy did I just find them so versatile and I think they look really cute. So this was £14, but I think it's justifiable. They also had it in black and blue. But because I had the blue cable knit jumper, I didn't want to get another blue thing. So I went for a cream because cream in the jumpers, they're quite see-through. With this, it's not being see-through. £14, right. You're probably thinking, Shan, it's a bog standard jumper. So here you have the three-quarter zip. It comes down. I would say it's slightly cropped. I would say it's slightly cropped. But it has got these huge balloon sleeves that go into a cuff. Is that not just the way to my heart? Is that not just the way to my heart? I blooming love this. And I think I will probably get it in the black next month. Will I get it in the blue? Meh, probably. <laughs> You know what I'm like, if I find something I like, I need to get it in all the colours. And I will be having a big clear out when I come back off holiday. Because my jumpers are something that... I haven't had a proper declutter of my jumpers for a good few years now. And it's purely because I have these jumpers from Bank. If you remember Bank Fashion, oh my god, I'm talking... 13, 14 years ago, it was when I was in college. Oh my god, that makes me feel so old. Wow. But... Bank used to have this brand. Now, what was the brand? Blonde and Blonde. I think that was the brand. Blonde and Blonde. You used to have a little bird as the logo. I have got all these little, like, cable knit jumpers. And some, like, the little arms are tearing apart. Some are just a bit, just a bit, not rotten, but, like, they need a colour boost. But they're so comfy. And they're perfect ones just to chuck on. When you don't know what to wear to work and you don't really care what to wear to work, to be honest, you just chuck them on and they're good to go. But I'm feeling like now is maybe the time to say goodbye to them. I don't know. I do need to have a big declutter. But yeah, this. Oh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. I did see online on that Instagram that they had it with the three-quarter zip but in a teddy bear material. Oh, I need that in my life, okay? I need that in my life. My lovelies, we're down to our last two things. And these could potentially be my most favourite things. Which is hard for me to say because I've got a lot of stuff in this haul that I like. But we'll start with this. I'm going to save that for last. We all know how much I love brush cotton. We all know how much I love tartan. We all know how much I love a good dress in the autumn. So why don't you put it all together, do it in a size 10, stick a tag on it and say 13 quid. And say Shannon, eat your heart out. My love, Liz. So this is... Kind of the print of the first dress, but this is a total different material. The other one was like a cheesecloth, and this is like a brush cotton. Long sleeves, 
long, long sleeves, shirt style sleeves with your button in. And then it comes down, 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 down. I'll show you more in the try on. Down. This is, I would probably say on my height, near enough a maxi, maybe a mid axi. I'm 5'3 for reference. I've just put it against me and it's like, I'd say four inches above my ankles. I love this. They also done it in kind of, it was like black with rust and grey. It weren't really my vibe. I thought this was much more autumnal. A lot more, again, neutral because I don't know if you can tell. It's like navy, browns, mockers, whites, creams. I thought that this was a lot more me. I have such high hopes for this. This potentially could be a pumpkin picking outfit. Oh my god, because I will be going pumpkin picking very, very soon. I'm actually going before I go away on holiday. So as you all know, I normally go pumpkin picking the first weekend in October. But I've had to bring it forward slightly. Um, we're going the last weekend of September. So yeah, very, very excited. I'm going to have a lot of pumpkin soup to make. So stay tuned. There will be a pumpkin vlog coming very soon. And yeah, October's content is going to be very much autumnal and holiday. So it's going to be a little bit of a... Mix and match, you know, but hey ho, we're gonna go with the flow. My lovelies, oh, I've just got to get comfy for this one. If you have been following me for a while, every autumn and winter, I always try and pick up a blazer set, whether that be with a skirt, skorts, shorts, anything like that. And half the time, none of it fits, to be perfectly honest. Sometimes, if the shorts or the bottoms are stretchy, the bottoms will fit, and the blazers are just a no go. So I saw this blazer, it was £25. Bearing in mind, I had just been into River Island and seen a blue hand tooth blazer with shorts that were a skort. The blazer was £75 and the shorts were £35. So it was £110 for a set. But the blazer on its own is £75, okay? I walked into Primark, I saw this blazer and I was like, I love it. I love it. So the material of it was slightly different to the River Island. River Island was a bit more like mohair, whereas this, I would say, is more tweedy buccal. But this was a third of the price, okay? So, I'm not going to do justice holding it up. You'll see more in the try and clip. So it's got shoulder pads in, okay? And it is this off-white, I don't even know, off-white tartany style. I'm not quite sure how you would... Uh, say the material the shoulder pads are quite deep but that's not a problem it gives it structure and then it comes down and it just has a simple plain black button now if you know me when it comes to blazers they never fit they never fit they're always too tight on my arms and i just i can't work with them so i picked a 12 up put it on and mum looked at me and said no and i'm thinking oh, <laughs> don't say a 12 is too tight on me I looked in the mirror and it hung off me. So I was like, hold on a minute. Can I now fit in a 10 Primark fitted blazer? Went and picked the 10 up. Mum still thinks that this looks big on me. So you will see in the trial clip, but I don't care. I tried on an 8. The 8 felt more tighter, but I wouldn't have been able to have like a thick jumper on underneath. So I do think sticking with a 10 which I'm very, very happy that I've actually fit in a 10 this year, um, is more than enough because it was a little bit roomy on the arms, which is great because if I want to wear a thick jumper, absolutely perfect. This a fraction, a third of the price of a River Island one. Um, I don't know how much Zara blazers are. Are they around the 50, 60 pound mark? I don't know if they're as expensive as River Island, but Primark, you're doing wonders. And all of the Primark coats top notch i think they're like 20 25 quid and they look good they have a crombie in there which is a style they've had for quite a few years i picked one up last year in a camel color if you remember correctly and mum tried one on in gray she thinks she's gonna get 25 pound m&s they do them and i think they're about 65 to 85 pound depending which style you get of the crombie so yeah please do not knock primark and as i say if you go there try it on because i would have just picked it up in a 12 but it wasn't that busy when we went so mum said i'll just try it on and i had like a long sleeve jumper like this on and i was like oh this feels very me and mum said like when i looked in the mirror it hung off me and i was kind of like oh okay so i tried the 10 for me it fit like a glove mum still thinks it looks a little bit too big but i said i don't care 
I don't want to go down to an eight and then next year if my arms did get a bit bigger, I don't have that room. Whereas this, I do have the roof removement. Removement! What? I'm trying to combine all these words in my head. I do have the room and movement to uh, wear a jumper underneath this. So yeah, I am beyond excited. And then I got to the checkout and I was like, oh no, I needed more hangers. I've got to hang all this stuff up now and I ain't got any blooming hangers. So yes, my lovelies, my room is filled of colour, texture, patterns and prints. And that to me is a good sign of an autumnal Primark haul. <laughs> so my lovelies, that is the first Primark autumnal haul done. As I say, I don't know yet how these bits look, apart from the blazer. I've tried the blazer, the blazer's all good. Um, I don't know what these are going to look like. Are we going to have a lot of thumbs up or thumbs down? Or are we going to have quite a few successes? I'm not entirely sure. I just love colour. And especially coming into the winter months. Winter and autumn, I know I sound like a broken record, are some of my favourites of the year because you can just be experimental with all of the prints and colours. And this is why I need a bigger wardrobe. Not going to be able to get a bigger wardrobe until I move out. So I've got to make do with what I got. But yeah, I need to have a big declutter of me uh, winter bits, I think, because I might have to give some jumpers and bits and bobs to some better homes because I can't be hanging stuff on for like. 12 13 years 14 years from when i was at college but i don't like to get rid of stuff if it's still in good quality and i think i could wear it and i know that i do because i wore them quite a lot last year but then if i'm buying new bits i need to get rid of some of the old bits because i physically don't have room so i think there's going to be a lot of uh, charity shop runs in the next coming months because we've cleared out all the shed we have donated i had a bag six boxes of books we've donated them to our local school because they're children's books i used to read a lot as a kid i don't read them now it was all like jacqueline wilson and enid blight and everything like that so yeah we are slowly on the decluttering phase but i need to declutter the end winter wardrobe but my lovelies i need to go and try all these on now so we shall see if i was a smiley after because as i say don't know whether they're stretchy, thumbs up, thumbs down, who knows. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite item from the haul? Have you ventured into Primark yet and seen any autumnal finds that you're like, I need them in my life? I was a little disappointed in my store for the home and footwear department. There weren't quite a lot there, which was a bit gutting, but... Hey ho, we're going to see how it goes, alright? But yes, take care, stay safe as always my lovelies. And I'll see you very soon for a new video, which is probably going to be tomorrow. I see you six times a week, so you're bound to see us either today or tomorrow. No, tomorrow or the day after. You know what I mean, my lovely. There's so much content at the minute, in there? You're going to be blooming sick of us. Bye!